Welcome back to the channel everyone. This video is a part 2 of diuretics in which we will focus on the high ceiling diuretics or loop diuretics which we will elaborate about. Drugs fall under this category, mechanism of action, adverse drug reaction, uses and the drugs dose given clinically. Hello Namaste Ola Priviat viewers. Welcome to my channel Med Gossip SD. I am Subhas. The main objective of this channel is we bring basic medical and clinical science topics, explanation with the related diagrams much as possible and frequently asked exam oriented questions of that related topic. So make sure you hit that red button of subscription and the bell icon so that you could never miss the updates. Let's discuss about high efficacy diuretics, a small intro. It is also known as high ceiling or loop diuretics. The high efficacy diuretics mainly act on thick ascending loop of Henle. These are the most powerful diuretics which is capable of excreting nearly 20 to 30 percent of the sodium in urinary filtrate. Now, the drugs which fall under high efficacy diuretics are furosemide, bumetanide, toracemide, pyretamide and azosemide. Now a small intro of furosemide. Furosemide is a prototype drug of high ceiling diuretics which excrete 15 to 25 percent of filtered sodium by glomerulus. It is orally and rapidly absorbed with 60% bioavailability, highly bound to plasma protein and conjugated with glucuronic acid, partly and major portion excreted unchanged in urine. Mechanism of action of high ceiling diuretics. Firstly, after the intake of drug, they are secreted in proximal tubule of nephron via organic anion transporter that is OAT. After that, it reaches the site 2 which is thick ascending loop of Henle. Then, it binds to chloride binding site of sodium potassium chloride symporter and it inhibits it. Then, it takes place either increase in sodium load to be excreted along with water that is diuretic action and rapid mobilization of body fluid and relief from edema or it decreases sodium potassium chloride reabsorption. So, the increase in sodium load results increases potassium efflux and hydrogen efflux into tubular lumen in exchange with more sodium reaching at distal convoluted tubule DCT which results increases potassium excretion and increases hydrogen excretion which finally results in hypokalemia and mild alkalosis whereas in other side when the it decreases sodium potassium chloride reabsorption then it also results in decrease of corticomedullary osmotic gradient which finally resulting in blocking the both positive and negative flea water clearance. The other actions are it increases Ca2 plus and Mg2 plus excretion. It increases the level of triacyl glycerol and LDH and decreases SDL level and it also increases blood uric acid level. The adverse effects are hypokalemia, hyponatremia, hyperglycemia, hyperuricemia, hypocalcemia, hypomagnesemia, hypersensitivity, dizziness or giddiness. Hypokalemia results muscle weakness, arrhythmia. Hyponatremia results severe cardiovascular system collapse hyperuricemia results resulting gout hypocalcemia results tetany hypomagnesemia results arrhythmia hypersensitive sulfamoid derivative is responsible except bumetanide now the uses of high ceiling diuretics uh, Pulmonary edema is the most common use which is used in high ceiling diuretics. The other uses are congestive heart failure, 
oedema of any origin like cardiac, renal or hepatic, ascites, cerebral oedema, hypertension associated with renal failure, nephrotic syndrome, and hypercalcemia and renal calcium stones. Now, the dose given of high ceiling diuretics. The doses are furosemide is given 20 to 80 mg at the morning time. In renal insufficiency or failure, 200 mg intravenous or intramuscular given 6 hourly. Last, the questions related to this topic are number 1. Write down the short notes on high ceiling diuretics or loop diuretics. Number 2. Discuss about the mechanism of action, adverse drug reaction, and uses of furosemide or different dog of similar category. Stay tuned for part 3. It is uploading soon. So, if you are interested on this video, please like, share, and please, please, please subscribe my channel. I need your support to grow my channel. Thank you.